Ladies and gentlemen, President Trump is the Freddy Krueger, the Nightmare on Elm Street, or I should say the Obi-Wan Kenobi of politics, but the Napoleon and the endless nightmare of Democrats, wonderful, morally superior, liberal Democrats, always very, very good people, intelligent They possess a great deal of wisdom blaming Russia for Clinton losing in 2016 with zero evidence at all aside from a high to moderate confidence confidence assessment by James Clapper. We can go on forever, but here, Business Insider. Trump is interested in running for House seat in 2022 in a bid to become Speaker (laughs) and launch an impeachment inquiry against Biden. Well, let's see. His wonderful son, Hunter, has incriminating emails, just like they, they, Democrats cannot type an email without incriminating themselves, without, like, letting the world know how corrupt they are. Debbie Wasserman Schultz was forced to resign in disgrace. You couldn't talk about Biden's son's emails last year. You couldn't talk about the origins of certain things last year, but now you can. It's funny how it's funny how um, you can't speak about certain things when when a discussion about those topics might hurt Democrats. But anyway, a radio host suggested to Trump that he should run for a House seat in 2022 and become Speaker. Trump responded that it was a very interesting idea and might be better and might be better than, than running for Senate. Trump could theoretically become House Speaker, but experts say it's very unlikely. Experts said also that Trump would never win. Except I, I actually, I'm not an expert. I'm just a you know, uh, normal person. But I tell told everybody in in the Hill, the Huffington Post, Salon, and other publications in 2016. When my writing went viral that I said Clinton would lose to Trump and I was the only person on the left on on the left to say that. But anyway, Trump could theoretically become House Speaker. So former President Donald Trump has shown interest in running for a House seat. By the way, huge, huge victory in California for the Second Amendment. I'll I'll get to that on H.A. Goodman's other channel. Hit subscribe below in the pinned comment to H.A. Goodman's other channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. To my new Patreons, thank you. My Patreon is below in the pinned comment. Your support is so greatly appreciated. And I just thank you so much. But the channel, H.A. Goodman's other channel is growing. It's in the pinned comment. Please subscribe and hit subscribe to this one as well. We're over 181,000 subs on our way to 200,000 subs, and it's because of you. Former President Donald Trump has shown interest in running for a House seat. <laughs> I just love this so much because it's the worst nightmare. It's the worst nightmare for Democrats. Now everything is... They, Bi- Biden's in office. They, they, they got what they wanted, but still democracy is imperiled. Still democracy is... Uh, the Constitution is is uh, barely surviving. You know, our country, you know, uh, it's Trump is this orange existential menace and, and dilemma that they always face. It's like, why can't you just uh, like accept he's not going away? 74 million Americans like record low unemployment. Democrats apparently like Uh, exponentially, an exponential increase in crime, homelessness, a horrible uh, horrible economy, the highest unemployment rates in the country are are in Democratic-run states, according to the New York Times, and God God bless the people of New York and New Jersey, but New York was the epicenter of the pandemic, and... You look at the New York Times statistics, Democratic-run states have the greatest number of lives lost and they have the highest per capita rates, the top four states in the country with the highest per capita rates. 
New York, New Jersey being, I think, one and two. Um, are Democratic-run states. And they have the highest per capita rates. And they had the most property damage from very peaceful, peaceful uh, First Amendment endeavors of last year. But here, former President Donald Trump has shown interest in running. So, I mean, really quickly, yeah, 74 million Americans really like record low unemployment. I know it sounds, it's so bizarre. Record low black and Latino unemployment. The economy was fantastic under President Trump. Don't blame uh, last year on Trump. It was Democrats who gleefully tanked their state economies. Oh, we have to do it. It's science. It's science. Science didn't tell you anything. Your response, our response as a country to the pandemic was a tragedy. And now we're finding out that, that good old Falsy, um, his emails vindicate President Trump. I mean, they can't type an email. Do you understand? They cannot type an email without their duplicitous and disingenuous personalities coming out and, like, w- without the truth being revealed. But anyway, Former President Donald Trump has shown interest in running for a House seat in 2022 in a bid to become Speaker and consequently launch an impeachment investigation against President Joe Biden. Why? Because his son's emails are incriminating. Thank you for uh, helping us meet your father. It was fan- It was an honor. How can you use your influence on behalf of the company? This is what's called a potential quid pro quo. Potentially, possibly pay to play. The Bidens and the Clintons never owned a business. You can look at Whitewater and you could look at um, their, their entire career in politics. It was just use a, a philanthropic organization as a conduit. Bill Clinton, Inc., or you talk, you talk about the campaign emails, 500 conflicts of interest, Bill Clinton, Inc. And then I think there was like a Biden, Inc., something like that. The Democrats, since the days of Tammany Hall, have enriched themselves. That's how they get so wealthy. They, how do you get... That's how they found Aldrich Ames. Because he was driving expensive cars, and they said, oh my goodness, okay, well that's... He's the one who's been giving top secret intel to the Kremlin. But it's like, how do you get so wealthy on a government salary? Oh, that's right! You have a foundation, and you network... And you um, you utilize your foundation. People give money. Uh, countries, uh, wealthy business people, uh, billionaires, uh, Uranium One, companies that are eventually owned by Vladimir Putin, give millions upon millions. UBS, Boeing, and eventually. A beneficial transaction takes place. And, oh, wow, that's phenomenal. You also get speaking engagements. $500,000 from a Moscow investment bank for Bill Clinton. But Trump is the Putin puppet. I mean, this spin is unbelievable. But anyway, during an interview on Friday, uh, Wayne Allen Root suggested that Trump runs for Congress in a bid. Uh, okay, why, quote, why not instead of waiting for 2024, and I'm hoping you will run in 2024, but why not in 2022 for the United States Congress? A House seat in Florida, win big, lead us to a dramatic, la- a, a dramatic landslide victory, a traumatic <laughs> landslide victory for Democrats, take the House by 50 seats, then you become Speaker of the House, lead the impeachment of Biden, and start criminal investigations against him, you'll wipe him, you, da, da, da. so that's so interesting, President Trump said. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, he should do this. I don't know if he will. I don't think he will. But it would be phenomenal. They couldn't stop it. They would have to just accept it. And the best thing that Trump did was negotiate a deal to get us out of Afghanistan on May 1st, 2021. He single-handedly reversed U.S. foreign, uh, foreign policy for the better. 
And he was the first president to step foot in North Korea. And he did a lot of other great things. He never got credit. And so, yeah, people want him back. Because we have an ad- we have an economy now that's not only stagnant, but unemployment is increasing, has increased. And now we have inflation. <laughs> we have inflationary concerns. When technically the, the, the economy is a good economy, it should be a good economy, uh, but where it was a self-induced depression, near depression or recession, and it's not a soaring economy, but we still have inflation. How, how do you explain that? Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now and hit subscribe to H.A. Goodman's other channel. I hope President Trump does this. I don't think he will, though. But I hope he does. It would be amazing.